Hello everybody, I am Nico D. Today I've got a new package to open and it is gonna be a very nice one. So I am very happy with the Mikotronics R58X4G over here. That's been my uh, main desktop for uh, a month now, for more than a month, for a few months. Uh, only now I am using Windows to record my microphone because that doesn't work well on Linux but otherwise I don't turn on my PC except for gaming but even gaming I do on the Mikrotronics. Then I also have got this one. So this is the basic model. So this is the Mikrotronic R58 Mini. This is also a nice one and now they have sent me something incredible something yeah it is monster like so let's open it and then after opening it we will open it again some more so let's cut so this is again an rk3588 but it is totally not the same as all the other rk3588 boards it is a huge difference and you will see that i can already feel it because it is a heavy box come on cut you okay i've got a few cuts okay got something open so here we go what's inside i know here it is a box in a box so it is all well packed that I can say, oh, it is heavy. It really is heavy. Now let's open it. Some protection. An HDMI cable. That wasn't necessary, but well, thank you. What's this? USB cable. That's nice too. Power supply. That is nice too. With Belgian, with European clicky thingies. Come on, click it on, you clicker. Yes, it's on. Thank you for that, that's really necessary. There is a remote control over here. A remote control. So let's open that. There's a dongle in it. So, remote control with a dongle. It looks pretty nice. So now, the main thing. We've got some more of these antennas. I've got those two on my other Mikrotronics or 58s x4g so now let's take it out this is gonna be special here it is and check this oh. and nipple has fallen off let's take all the nipples off all the nipples are off. So check this. What? So it has got a volume knob. 
I don't know for what. Maybe I can use it as a volume knob. Maybe I can program it. I hope I can, or maybe to turn on my lights or something like that. That would be nice. So it also has got 4G. Uh, it has got, most important, 10 gigabit Ethernet. 10 gigabit Ethernet on an RK3588 ARM board. So this is crazy. It also has got... HDMI in, HDMI out, DP out. It also has got an SD card reader, so none other of the Mechatronics boards have got an SD card reader. This one has got an SD card reader. So this has got everything an RK3588 could have. It has two times one gigabit Ethernet and then 10 gigabit Ethernet, which is really crazy. <coughs> it also has these uh, serial ports for uh, machines, for running machines. So it is a crazy board. Let's open it more. So how will I need to open it? I would say I will open this side. Let's do that. And number four. Now let's see if I can open this. And a little bit. Oh, the top comes off. That's nice. So we get a look inside. This ain't a single board computer anymore. There are multiple boards on it. I don't know what they all do. But there are a lot of things on, the, on here. So let me show you. I wish I had better lighting. Maybe with this. So it has got a huge heatsink. So that is great. It will not overheat. Here is the 10 gigabit Ethernet. It is connected to a special board. And that special board is connected to what? I don't know. It is crazy. So here a board for the SD card reader. So it all are separate boards. There's a board here for what? I have no idea. It looks a lot different than I expected. <coughs> so then you have got here a display. But there is no NVMe. I thought there would be NVMe. I think they are using the NVMe port for uh, the 10 gigabit Ethernet. Too bad. I really wanted NVMe. But well, it will not be a bad board. But how will I... I need fast connection to it, so... Well, the Ethernet is fast enough, so I actually do not need fast NVMe on this. If my Ethernet is 10 gigabit and I can have 5 gigabit on my NAS, then that's 500 megabytes. I 10 gigabits is 1 gigabyte, so 500 is 500 megabytes, yes, 
So that's fast enough for... Uh... It is a crazy machine. It is crazy, crazy, crazy. It is something else than I expected because I thought I would have NVMe, but yeah. There is a full sized SATA connector over here. I don't know if you can see it. So that is good. Can have a SATA disk inside of here. There is room enough for a SATA disk. Just connect it to the top panel. Where is my top panel? Here it is. So you could connect a SATA disk on here and uh, put it in. That would be nice. So it still has got the 4G uh, module. So where is the. So here you can put in a 4G card for uh, 4G internet. As you see, here it goes. So this is really a maxed out RK3588 board. It has got about anything you could like. So the things I was missing was the SD card and I was also missing faster Ethernet. Now they've gone for 10 gigabit Ethernet. I would have been happy with 2.5 gigabit Ethernet and having NVMe, but this is also nice. I will test this out to the limit and I hope it will be as good as my R58X 4G because I'm giving that away to one of the ambient devs. So this is it. This is the unboxing of the R58 Pro. No, or so this is the unboxing of the R58X Pro. It is a mouthful. So this is a more an industrial board meant to be used for very special tasks for machine and studying. Take another look. This is a crazy machine. This is crazy. So 10 gigabit Ethernet. I love that. Let's close it back. So it is back together. So I hope I will be able to use this volume knob to program it and uh, the display to show something. So that would be nice. That would be a fun project. So it has got two ports, USB 2 over here. It has got SD reader. It has got four antennas. So one for Bluetooth, one for 4G, one for Wi-Fi and the other for for something else i don't know what then we have got power it is powered with 12 volts dc uh, hdmi in full sized hdmi out full sized dp full sized then two one gigabit lands one can do power over ethernet so that is good too you can power it with ethernet it has got 10 gigabits LAN, that is crazy for such a box, 10 gigabit LAN. Then on this side there is an opening for the SATA, so you can take out the SATA, uh, break it out and on the front, yeah, we have got the same again, power button, here the 4G reader, SD reader. Uh, we have got Type-C for an extra display or for uh, USB 3. 
So this is quite fast. This is also fast. And here again, two USB 2 ports. So this is really a maxed out RK3588 machine. I am very happy to have it. Thank you very much, Mikotronics, Mike. I love this a lot and I will be using it for the next months and weeks and then I will review them all one by one probably. I will first do the my favorite the R58X 4G I will do first because I'm giving that away. So here is the first boot and it is really nice so as you see it is a timer over here. It's 4, 19 and 7 seconds, 8 seconds, 9 seconds, 10 seconds. So uh, I had to boot it, of course. Uh, the first thing I noticed was the 10 gigabit Ethernet isn't working yet. So this is an early image, an early Android TV image. Uh, Google Play Store doesn't work yet. I cannot log in. It doesn't find the servers. But these are things that will be fixed hopefully in the coming days, weeks and months. So uh, for me, I want to run Linux on this, of course, Armbian even. So uh, I will have to ask my deaf friends to help me with uh, making an image. I'm gonna have a good time with this. So uh, they sent me these, so I can test them. So uh, I test all the hardware. I try to find fixes and I try to find bugs. And then I send it to them. So thank you, Mike from Mikotronics. So thank you all for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. See you later. Bye.